build it, make it, play it. <sighs> oh, oh, my back. Oh, just need to straighten up. Oh, oh, this is not good. Good morning, beautiful Sophie. I'll be back in a second. Morning, Robert, dear. I need to use the bathroom. Oh. Come on, time to get up. Is it morning already? I've barely slept a wink. Mm. <sighs> oh, crikey. Robert, dear, you have a little bit of soap stuck to your hair. Where? Um, just there. <sighs> Robert, do you think it's time we invested in an extension? But why, love? You always said it was your dream home. I know, I know. But that was before Henry and Sophie came along. Sophie doesn't have her own room and sleeps in her pushchair with me downstairs. And my osteopath bill is massive from having a bad back sleeping on the sofa. Ugh. Oh, poor little Henry is up in the attic with all the spiders and your Star Wars memorabilia. And you're sleeping in the bath with soap as a pillow. The only one with a decent bedroom is Emma. Hmm, you might have a point. I'll go and make breakfast. I'll have a think on it. Henry, love, don't lean back on the chair. It's a bit unsteady. Sorry, Mummy. Kids, we're thinking about getting an extension on the house. Could I get an indoors art studio, please, Mum? My easel's outside, and I don't think I have ever finished a painting without it being rained on. People think it's my style now. We'll see, dear. Mummy, I don't like the spiders anymore. Please can I have a rocket ship room? Please. Oh, Henry, love, you do need your own room. With no spiders. Andrea's family just had a massive extension. I could give their builder a call. Hey, 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 building contractors. An extension, you say? Double the size, you say? It's going to cost you. Yeah, I'll be over in a minute. He said he'd be here in a minute. We better go pack our bags. Oh, digger! Hello, young man. Hello, hello. Oh, oh, I can see you're keen to get this extension work started. What are we looking at here then? Wow, we need more bedrooms. Three extra bedrooms, in fact. Emma here would like an art studio of sorts. She's not keen on painting in the front garden all the time. And if budget allows, we'd like to revamp our lounge, our kitchen and dining area. How long would that take? You can't build a house in a day. It'll be ready tomorrow. But never fear, Oscar is here. Well, we'll leave it in your capable hands then, Oscar. OK, ta-da! Goodbye, old house. Come on, Chico. Yes. Goodbye, old house. Goodbye, Oscar. Right, let's get stuck into this build. After a couple. Hello, welcome to Build It, Make It, Play It. Now, Emma's original house is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's one of my favourite Lego Friends houses. But it doesn't really suit Emma and her extended family now. They've run out of space and they need more bedrooms. So, Emma and her extended family want to have a house extension. How exciting is that? I love a good house extension. So this is Emma's House Gets Extended Part 1. And don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you're first to hear when the new videos are online. And trust me, there are going to be plenty of other parts to this series of Emma's House Gets Extended. This family is going to get a lot of work done to the house. Okay, should we have a look around Emma's original house? Let's move Oscar's digger out the way. So Emma's original house is absolutely beautiful, but it isn't without its little quirky problems. So Emma's bedroom in this set is not big enough to hold any of her art supplies, so her poor art easel is stuck out in the front garden all the time. The house is super, super modular, but it is only connected with two connector bricks and it wibbles and wobbles and shakes all over the place. Let's spin it around a little bit. And can you see here, there's weirdly a window stuck behind a pillar. Right, let's take a look inside. 
Ah, so it looks like Oscar the Builder has already settled down to watch some TV with a cup of tea. So their living room is slap bang in front of their front door. So as soon as you open the front door, you are faced with this sofa. And I want to change this. I want to give them a separate living room. So this is their kitchen and it's not too bad. There's some slightly inconsistent coloring going on here. So I might give this a little bit of a revamp, but it has got a really cool feature. It's got a little opening fridge area. So I want to keep that in the new kitchen. Bizarrely, the bathroom is actually bigger than Emma's bedroom because we have that great big balcony area. Let me spin it around and you'll see just how much space that balcony is taking up. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it is valuable bedroom space. So I think the balcony needs to go. I am so, so sorry. So yeah, Emma's bedroom, it doesn't really reflect Emma's personality at all, does it? It's very pink and girly and doesn't really reflect Emma in the slightest. So yes, that is going to change. Do not worry. It's going to be full on Emma style by the end of this. They've got a roof terrace with a barbecue. I really like that. I want to keep that. And the attic space where poor little Henry has been sleeping with the spiders. Not a lot of usable space up here, but I have a plan. Okay, spinning it around. We're gonna have one last look at Emma's original house. Oh, bye bye old house. It's gorgeous, I love it. And I really, really hope that the extension work does this house justice. Okay, shall we get extending? Oh, I'm really excited. Tea break. Tea break. Tea break. Tea break. Hmm, another tea break? Tea break. Tea break. Another tea break. Tea break. Tea break. Oh, tea break, tea break. Oscar, another tea break. Oscar, Oscar, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Hmm, um, Oscar, I have some ideas if you don't mind. I think I'll take over from here. Only if you're sure, ma'am. You're the boss after all. Thank you, Oscar. Ta-ta, boss. Look, Emma's house has been extended! Woohoo! It's double the size! It's massive! Eek! So yes, as you can see, I have got two Emma's house sets and I have put them together, mirror image, to create this great big whopping mansion of a house. But that gives us all of the space that we need for these extra bedrooms. But I have some different ideas from Oscar the Builder and I want to mod this even further. As you can see, those balconies are still there. And I'm really sorry to say they have got to go. And plus, I really don't like what he's done with this window line down here. I think we can make improvements there and get it in line with the windows upstairs. Look, we've got one, two, three windows upstairs and only two downstairs. And also, this brick line was mirrored from the front door area and it really doesn't tie in with the rest of the house. So that is going and I'm going to change that. All right, we're going to spin this monster around and have a look inside. Honestly, I measured this with my arm. It goes from the tips of my fingers to my elbow. Oh, look, why do builders have to leave their mess everywhere? Look, there's a dirty old teacup here. Okay, so my plan is I'm going to move the living room away from the front door and I'm going to pop it over in this space over here and it's gonna be much bigger, much better and more comfortable. The kitchen area is already pretty cool. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a revamp. And you see over here where I have this dark purple base plate, that's going to be Emma's bedroom. And she gets so much more space in this room, but that brick line has got to go. And I'm going to build out the wall a bit more on that left hand side. Right, so I've decided the bathroom is going to move from the right hand side to the left hand side. And we're going to extend out the bathroom, or what was the bathroom, above that hallway. And that's going to be June and Robert's new bedroom. 
And next to June and Robert's bedroom, I'm going to put little baby Sophie's nursery. And next to that, I'm going to have Henry's toddler room. Please forgive me, I'm going to have to get rid of those balconies to make this work. So you see this attic space up here, it's not very usable is it? So I have plans to extend this attic space upwards. Right, let's spin this round to the front and let's let these mods begin. All right, let's get pulling this house apart again. We need to disconnect all of these modular pieces. The wonderful thing about Emma's house, it's so modular, so you can change it around as much as you like and it makes extending it and changing it so easy. You just pull the rooms off. Pulling the wall apart and let's just move those two windows off to the side for a moment. And I'm building up two purple pillars either side of where the windows are going to go. Now, instead of that brick line, I'm going to add in some white blocks and get this looking consistent with the rest of the house. I'm popping on three windows so it matches the room above. And I'm just going to tie in this purple pillar to the window to make it a little bit more secure. And we're going to top off the window and the walls with some purple bricks. Now, I sound a bit hesitant because I've decided I'm going to have white bricks on top of the windows. So pulling all of those off again and replacing them with some white blocks and just trying to secure all of those wall panels together with some two by ones so they're a little bit stronger. Popping on a little connector stud bricks again and topping off the wall line with some lovely fuchsia pink tiles. There we go, gorgeous. Much better than having that brick line on the inside of Emma's bedroom. Let's pop the bathroom back on top again. Clip that into place, make sure it's secured down and adding those new fences back on again. There we go, one section complete. Bringing in the rest of this monster of a house. Right, we're gonna get rid of the balconies. I'm so, so sorry, but they really do need to go. Disconnecting more of those fences so that I can get another modular part of Emma's house apart. And we're starting by removing that attic space and starting off by taking away that lovely, lovely balcony. Goodbye, balcony and taking away all of those wall parts, including those purple pillars, which are really, really handy actually for building out walls in the house later on. And I'm just gonna build up the wall line on the left-hand side. Oh, second-hand Lego with chew marks in it. It looks like somebody has decided that Lego is a tasty old snack. Yuck. Right, I've got to replace that bit. Look, a nice fresh one by four with no teeth marks in it, yay. Adding on another purple pillar to finish off that wall line. Right, we need some windows in these bedrooms. Same as in Emma's bedroom, we're going to have a white brick line underneath the windows. I'm popping in these two white pillars either side of where the windows are going to go. And this is so that the upstairs window is going to be consistent with the one downstairs. Popping in three windows. Oh, oh dear, I've got a connector brick stuck on the top of that one. Pull that off, don't need that for now. Okay, so all of these purple pillars are a little bit wibbly wobbly, so I'm going to connect them all together with this great big long brick. And topping that off with some purple bricks, adding on some one by one white pieces either side of the window and topping it off with some nice long white plates. And also there's lovely, lovely fuchsia pink tiles. And I've decided to add in a studded fuchsia pink brick here just to give that attic space a bit more purchase. There we go, no more balcony and looking super modern. Let's bring in the other side just to compare how much extra space you're going to get by removing that balcony. We need to do the same to the other side. So we just need to disconnect these two parts and they are held together, as you can see, by two connector bricks. Right, spin it around and let's start taking that apart again. Right, this is going to be super, super speedy removal of a balcony. And let's get rid of Emma's bedroom pieces as well. And I'm building up the wall line on the right hand side with those spare purple pillars that have just come out of the balcony. See, making use of all the extra pieces. Tying them all together with a great big long white plate and adding on those purple wall pieces again. And let's build out the bottom of the window with those white bricks and add in our white pillars either side again and our three windows, exactly the same as the other side. Oh no, I've run out of windows but there is a spare window downstairs. Do you remember that window that was tucked behind that pillar? That's gonna come out and be replaced. Let's take off that top floor and pull out that window and we're going to replace it with some spare purple pillars that came out of the balcony. Topping that off with some purple bricks. 
There we go, we're ready to put on that top floor again. And we have a window, there we go. And tying all of those windows together with a long white brick and those lovely fuchsia pink tiles. Adding on some studded bricks just to give that attic space something to grab onto. And look, it's consistent with the downstairs again. So that attic space is not very practical, is it? Let's make it bigger. All right, let's start by pulling it all apart. We're gonna go right back down to the bare bones. So we're pretty much gonna start off with a blank base plate. And I'm going to extend it out with this white base plate and hold it into place with these white bricks either side. And I've decided I'm going to create some detailing on the front and I'm extending it up. So I don't want it to look like a big slab of white. So I've added these angled bricks in just to add in a bit more detail. Let's build up the wall line and we're adding in some angled bricks either side just to finish it off. Let's bring in our lovely dark blue roof tiles and they are gonna need a bit more supporting otherwise we're gonna have a roofing catastrophe on our hands. So let's add in a brick line, just one stud in from that wall. And I'm building up this little pillar in front of that wall line and that's going to hold the roof tiles that go up the middle of the roof. And there we go, when I add those tiles on, they've got a lot more support. Finishing off the line of roof tiles and just adding on some really nice fuchsia pink tiles. Popping on some white blocks just to bring up that wall line just a little bit more. And we're adding on the rest of our roof tiles. And just keep building that wall line up like a step. But I've realized I've made a mistake, so I'm backtracking and I'm gonna put in a couple of very thin one by four bricks and I'm adding in this long white plate and you'll see why in a second. And adding those tiles on again and I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side. And I'm just finishing off the edge of the attic space with some white pillars. And you see that long white plate that I put across the attic, that's going to hold on those roof tiles that go up the middle of the roof line. Adding our flowers back in and our windows. Just gonna pop in a little inverted angled brick and that's going to give the roof line a little bit more support. Oh, I can't get that tile in. Take the window out, in goes the tile, there we go. And just finishing off the top of that roof line with that great big long dark blue plate. There we go, one usable attic space. If I bring in the Robert Mini doll, you can see exactly how much extra headroom this attic space has got compared to the old one. It's far more usable and far less angled. Okay, let's bring in our two middle pieces to the house pop those side by side and we're adding on the first of our attic spaces complete with some pretty yellow flowers and for all of you blue peter fans here's one i made earlier Ta da there we go no more balconies and a bigger roof line those bedrooms look so much bigger inside now don't they ah uh, yes so i added on some extra detailing inside that roof line just to kind of smooth it off a bit and it's literally an inverted angle brick with a little one stud brick on top right let's connect these together let's add all of those fences back on again so these two base plates are stuck together let's bring in the section where emma's bedroom is going to go and we need to pop on the roof terrace again and i have plans for this section i'm not sure yet i'll have a think about that and let's bring in the original front door and bathroom and that just clicks into those connector bricks there we go one massive emma's house extension Let's spin it around and you can see all of that space inside, wow. So what have we got? Okay, so we've got four bedrooms, a bathroom, the kitchen, there's gonna be a living room space, and we're also going to get the hallway back as well. And the attic space, I've got plans for the attic space, don't worry, it's not gonna be full of spiders and Star Wars memorabilia. There we have it, one massive Emma's house, what do you think? And keep an eye out on the channel for the next in the series of Emma's House Gets Extended when I start to add all the interiors. Thank you, thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. There's more coming up in this series of Emma's House Gets Extended. Until then, I'll see you later.